Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. We help you go from self-taught beginner to paid automation professional. And the way we're going to do that today is we're going to talk about the seven required networking skills that every automation professional should have. We're going to go ahead and get started right now. So when we talk about networking skills, what are they? What are we talking about? I want to be clear about that. And that is to start with, you got to be able to pick the right cables. It's amazing. There's like six or seven different type of Ethernet cables that are out there. And you need to be able to dif differentiate between which cable for which particular application. And that's very important to know. Next skill, you're very important that you need to have some experience at terminating these cables. And I'm just using Ethernet as an example, but there's all kinds of different networking cables that you need to be familiar with, at least a few of them, and understand how to terminate, make the connections at the end of the cables so that, the, so that they will mount into the hardware. Another important IT networking skill is to understand networking schemes so that you can map out a naming and numbering scheme. Go ahead and stick with me to the end of this video and I'll have tons of different resources for you to learn from so that you can quickly uh, pick up these networking skills and add them to your to your uh, skill set. Alright, the next one is addressing. You, you want to be able to understand how to configure, assign, and overall commission device addressing. So for example, IP addressing, you be able to find what's on a network to configure them, to assign them an overall commission uh, a device. Protocols, very important. This is really trying to understand how to get all the different networking protocols that are out there, Profibus, Profinet, Ethernet, um, serial and get them all communicating because on any particular network you will find that there are lots of different protocols that are being used in a large system. Speaking of a large system is to understand how the architecture of a network. To understand the different protocols that are used, the hardware, and then sometimes even how that ties into um, your company's uh, security that's on the network a company's building main, uh, management system that is involved multiple machines. So you can see how all this integrates together. And if you do not have a proper architecture, do not know how to mix your protocols and get the, the, all of the networks communicating to each other, you're going to have a real difficult um, time working in that type of environment. And finally, what do we have? We have relationships. It's real important that you find, meet, and begin to work hard on creating a good working relationship with IT professionals within your companies and outside of your company. Very important. There's so much to learn. And with our, with our growing technology, there's going to be even more to learn. So as, as you can see, this is, these are very important uh, networking skill sets that every automation professional should, should have. All right, so until next week, this was Paul with Logics Magazine.